Do you have less money in your wallet these days, certainly less spending power? According to the Census Bureau, annual income for the average person fell, fell, repeat, fell 4.8% since the so-called economic recovery began in June of 2009. That decline was even bigger than what it was during the actual recession. Joining us now from Dallas, Ed Butowski, money manager to the wealthy. Ed, you've got your own numbers on spending power, standard of living, and all the rest of it. Was that number down 4.8% in line with the numbers that you've come up with? Well, it, it certainly is. I mean, it's, it's much higher than I thought it was going to be. But what you have to understand about this is anytime you create more of anything, the value of what's already out there goes down. So when there's more money printed, the value of the dollars that you already have go down. So when you combine that, Stuart, with your incomes going down, the cost of goods go up. You have a negative double play, and that's why people are very miserable right now. And uh, that's why you're also going to see more people relying on the government. As Jerry said earlier, you know, when you get people on those government payout plans and they start getting money from the government, it's hard to get them off that. We're going to see more and more of that if we don't get this economy turned around quickly. I've lived in America for 40 years now, almost 40 years. I can't remember a similar prolonged period where our standard of living, or better yet, our purchasing power went down for such a long period by so much. Uh, I, I can't remember a period like that, can you? I, I certainly don't. And, and now, you know, the, the quantitative easing one and quantitative easing two, as we know, is printing of money. And people need to understand this. And one of the points I want to make is that it absolutely hurts proportionally the people in the middle class more because they spend more of their money because of the very nature of their income and how much they have on energy on food and those prices have gone up so it's really a tax right on that middle class when you hear quantitative easing one and two and we might be seeing quantitative easing three which means more printing of money i'm going to take the other side of the argument i think this has got okay. more to do with the very very weak economy and the lack of jobs if you add up all the money that we earn it is actually down compared to where it was before the recession because we've not, re re we've not got the paychecks coming out. I think that's, that's a right. bigger reason than the decline in purchasing power because of the printing of money. That's my opinion. Go well, it's, it, yeah, it's, re it's really both of those, Stuart. It's a combination. It's all of it. I mean, we can take every single component of what's going on in this economy and literally say things are just not getting any better. They're getting worse at a very rapid pace. Okay. And you're being critical of uh, Ben Bernanke. What about the, his impact on savers? Well, look, this, the savings rate, as you know, you know, a lot of money is on the sidelines from corporations, but people don't have that much money saving. And the money that they do have, Jerry, as you know, is earning very, very little. They're earning 1%. People have inherent inertia. They're not ready to do anything because they're scared of everything that's happening out there in the economy, political, you know, from the political you know, uh, spectrum as well. So people just sit there and they earn 1% in money market. And guess what? They're losing, what, 5, 6, 7, 8% purchasing power a year. Um, I believe you and your son went to see the movie 2016 yes. over the weekend. You did. Okay. That's right. You got 30 seconds. I want a review, a critical review or an ecstatic review, whatever it is. Go. A uh, great movie. Everyone needs to see it. My son, who's 14, said it was almost as good as The Avengers. Almost. Oh, you still got 10 seconds left. What was the reaction of the rest of the audience to the movie? <laughs> I, I got to tell you, it was it was really kind of subtle. I mean, people just left that movie with their head shaking, going, "Why isn't everyone seeing this movie?" Because they really need to. Um, you got to go see it, Stuart. I'm sure you will. As a matter of fact, I'm going this afternoon. You'll hear my views probably okay. tomorrow. Ed Butowski, everyone, always a pleasure. Thank you, sir.